complaint I hear from the working man is that they are unhappy with their lot. Oh, why torment yourself, I ask? The ox cannot become a lion, and why would you want to? Who wants all those responsibilities and worry? Do your job, eat your food, go to sleep. Simplicity is beauty. little stowaways or maybe you don't hey just, just stop Get for a minute from me stay away I just want to talk to you Elizabeth! Just hold up for a minute! Get away from me! I'm not angry with you! Stay away! Hey, watch out! Move it! Move! Just stay back! God damn it! I am not going with you! Don't go in there! I have no need of one such as you! No, no, no! It's her! Call it in! Call it in! No! Let me go! You got her! There's gotta be another way in. Requested troops are on their way. Keep going! Let go of me! Get your hands off of me! Let me go! Five wants you, and we mean to give you to him. Won't you be quiet? What was that? My patience has done run out. Ah! 
Elizabeth! Wait! Captured by man, to tame the fucking Just need to supply enough weapons to arm an entire uprising. And where will we get these weapons? From one of our many friends and allies? A gunsmith in Finkton should be a walk in the park. What do you say, partners? You're a liar, Mr. DeWitt. And a thug. But you're also my only means of reaching Paris. <laughs> Comfortable with my company, Mr. DeWitt. You are a means you know, to an end. I no was born deaf. <laughs> I hear what it is people are saying. Now, Mr. Fink's a good man. You work Fink? hard, and I know they will work. Sixteen hours a day. Now, let's be clear. I would like nothing more to shorten your work day. But the fact is, I simply can't. Gunsmith, I'm saying to find this person. Daisy Fitzroy. She's either a great hero or the worst of scoundrels, depending on who's doing the telling. She's good for an airship. I don't care if she's the Queen of Holland. Welcome to Fink Industries Recruitment. We are not looking for any help. You hear that? No help. How are we going to get into Finkton? Illegally. Let's look for another way in. Got a lock, needs picking. Ready. Over there, a service elevator. Should take us down to Finkton. And get ourselves killed in the bargain. Show yourself! Ah! What is anarchy if not a knife in the back of our prophet? Ah!
That'll do. Right up your alley. Okay. There you go. The gunsmith Chen Lin wanted for known connections to the outlaw Daisy Fitzroy. Looks like our guy's drawn attention. That's not good, is it? No. Slate's locker. He must have worked here. This is my mother's diary. Why would Slate have it? My husband claims the child was created from whole cloth by divine will. I am a believer, but I am not a fool. His bastard shall not be raised under this roof. My mother. She had me locked in that tower. Elizabeth. I just want to get out of this city. Please. Greetings. My name is Jeremiah Fick, and I want to share with you my personal creed. What is the most admirable creature on God's green earth? Why, it's the bee! Have you ever seen a bee on vacation? Have you ever seen a bee take a sick day? Well, my friends, the answer is no. So I say, be the bee! Be the bee! Hello? Mr. DeWitt? Uh, yes? Hold for Mr. Fink, please. What's going on? DeWitt, Fink here. Listen, my boy, we've had our eye on you, and I can tell you right now that you are our top candidate. Top! <laughs> now, uh, my associate, Mr. Flambeau, will help you with anything you need. <laughs> what the hell was that? I have no idea. He seems oddly pleased to make your acquaintance. The man's got an ego. Variety of money? supplies here that should okay. see you through your business. Thanks. What does Mr. Fink want with us? Excuse me, miss, but Mr. Fink's interest is strictly in the gentleman. But why? So sorry, young miss, but any questions regarding the gentleman's application should be taken up with Mr. Fink directly. Does this strike you as good news? 
Bruce. Gunsmith or scavenge supplies by that clock shop? Nine, I've nine been nine. Nine, nine, will you give me eight? Nine minutes, be it. Nine, nine. Eight. Eight minutes, be it. Nine, seven and a half. Seven minutes, seven minutes. Seven minutes. Here it is, Booker. Chen Lin. Gunsmith. Buddha. Who? The founder of Buddhism. Spent 49 days under a Bodhi tree until he achieved enlightenment. Something tells me Comstock doesn't cater to idols getting worship that ain't him. Hello? Hello? Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Is anybody here? What happened here? Someone worked this place over. Local constabulary, no doubt. Someone downstairs. Excuse me. Ma'am, I'm sorry to bother you. I'd... We're looking for Mr. Lin. Mr. Chen Lin. Booker. Mr. Lin, not here. He gone. Gone? They take. Flying squad, I pray, Gautama Buddha, pray, give husband back, give back to Meilin. Where did they take him? Club. Everyone take to good time club. Where is this club? <laughs> Ma'am, please, where, where is this club? Booker, we'll find it. Just leave her be. Why not Vox Bully help Chen Lin? Why not Daisy Fitzroy help Chen Lin? Cops. The kind who probably got their boot on Lin's throat asking him how well he knows Daisy Fitzroy. Isn't she the one we're working for? As a matter of fact, it is. Alright, let's figure out what the club is.
I don't much care for you, Mr. DeWitt. But I must admit, you know your way around a brawl. I'm sorry about what I said at the docks. Calling it a thought. Yeah. Can't see how I might have changed your sense of that. You protected me. There it is, Mr. DeWitt. Now we just need to head inside and find Mr. Lin. And... Find Shen Lin and get the hell out of here. Now, now, all I ask is that you Elizabeth, finish what yeah. you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Our first candidate is a veteran of Peking. Opening acts. Your 
your true rival is an expert with the automata. Wants to replace all our security with machines. I'll give the old boy credit, though. It would be fewer mouths to feed. This <laughs> in your job, Fink. Now, now, I know all about your little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people do it now. killed to be head of Fink Security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but I promise you this. I will get what I want. There's a door over here. I think that's the way down. Come on, Franny. You're a modern woman. It's 1912. It's gonna be 2012 before I'm interested in one like you. You're going out. Need money? Catch, Booker. Lock. Sure thing. I used to work for folks like Fink. Really? Man, I was with the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. Ready. Something ain't right. <laughs> Wow, it's a code book for a cipher. A secret message from the Vox Populi. Secret codes? The cipher should be around somewhere.
Tell us what you know about Fitzroy, you goddamn gook. We know you can hear us. You want to say something? Or you want us to bring in Mrs. Lynn for company? Uh, throw a bucket of ice water on him. We got three more to bring in tonight. privies down here. They treat them like animals. They will. Oh! Oh! What could people have done to deserve to be locked up in a place like this? I think they'll need much of her. No. No, he doesn't. Locked. Elizabeth! Looks simple enough. All done. Help me out with this lock? Looks easy enough. This is it, isn't it? Yep. Number nine. All yours. Do it! You're a lion. But you can't blame me for looking after my own interests, can you? Now I know Fitzroy has come calling, but I think you'll find your business with her has come to an end. <laughs> lions walk with lions, do it, not hyenas. where he was never murdered. Somewhere we'll find out why, I suppose. I don't suspect you can change something like that and have everything else remain the same. These men... They killed them. They were dead. Not in this world. Look at their noses. They're... They're all bleeding. 
leader. What's wrong with What that? is going on here, Sasko? Number one. Yes, Linda. my head of you security. Much obliged. No match. That man we just fought. In the other world, he was the one who was struck on the In the other world? This whole business makes my head hurt. Oh, 
Fink isn't giving you the job. Hear anything? Huh? No machines. No tools. Look or look. The shrine. Let's go find that gunsmith. Figure of Maybe he's upstairs now. now. Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines! Very dangerous! No place for stupid people! Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lin... Downstairs! What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in some way he remembers that too. Calm How would you reconcile that? Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. I'm Mrs. Lin? No, I, I mean a little Chinese lady. She was... Booker, this is Mrs. Lin. They took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe... If, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin, can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police. They took them and locked them up in the impound in Shantytown. Would having his tools back fix his mind? Who cares? We're not getting any guns if Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. Let's head to Shantytown. Did you notice? Lin had a bloody nose. Seems to be in style. It's terrible. I'm so sure it was a good idea. Lately, I've been hearing a whole mess of funny new ideas. Pay me. Alright. It's as much a mystery to me as anyone else. Maybe Songbird knows, but he's not talking. <laughs> I'm sorry. What for? I get to wear this stylish thimble to cover up my hideous deformity. 
I hear they're all the rage in Paris. Go ahead. There. Do it. Back. Escape! <laughs> 